Okay, in today's video, I want to check out what is going on in this overall correction structure. And I'm going to give you a very, very important reason to believe there is nothing to be worried about in QNT. And after this correction is over, we are indeed going to get some huge, huge moves on the upside. So with that said, hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having a great time with your family and loved ones. And as per usual, since in QNT, we have been going down for quite some time, I'm getting in my videos some negative comments that say well okay this is like a very bad token and we will never ever going to have another bull run and stuff like that but i don't really agree with that you see first i think the value of a token in the long term depends heavily in fundamentals first and also second technical analysis now in terms of fundamentals i think in qnt we are in a great place and qnt's overledger is definitely going to have a very important role for the future of blockchain and in terms of technical analysis we talked about it so so many times i believe in terms of elliot waves this whole move on the downside it's just going to be a correction structure and on a higher degree we are having from this point five wave up maybe into a wave one and then this move down is just a correction for wave 2 and after it's over we can expect a huge move on the upside into wave 3 and 4 and 5. So in the long term in terms of technical analysis and also fundamentals we are looking great so I just don't get why people are so so mad in here and let's just rephrase that I don't get why you should be mad in here justifiably okay. There are reasons to be very very sad in quant because we talked about it before. In QNT, we got this huge move on the upside back in June of 2022. And in a lot of altcoins, we didn't have something like this. That made a lot of people believe that maybe we're going to have another phase of the bull run and we're not going to get some more deep moves on the downside in here. So a lot of people bought QNT around these high prices, let's say about 120 to about even $150. And now that the price is down, they are very mad. And in that case, I absolutely get it. But when someone says that quant is a bad token, that's what I actually do not understand. Just because we bought all the way up here and the price went down doesn't mean that the token is bad. No, it just means that we entered at the wrong time. Now, I'm thinking before we start the next phase of the bull run, there is a chance that in quant we might see some more moves on the downside in here in order to maybe take this low around let's say $40 but I don't believe that we're gonna go that much lower than that and there is also a possibility that in it we may not even have this move down. In quant I'm thinking either we are going to get our last move on the downside or from here we can start a huge move on the upside and basically overall I'm thinking we are very, very close to the start of a huge move up. Now, let me just cheer you up a bit. You see, I promise you, we have seen something like this before, and I'm going to show you in a bit. Let's go on a less busy chart, maybe on crypto.com. Let's just see this. Okay, it's here. There we go. Let's see what happened in this area back in 2018 let's zoom in more okay so from this point about let's say 15 cents we had in this bull run about a hundred x move on the upside to somewhere around the 15 dollar region so remember that this was a hundred x bull run what happened after it we got a very very deep move on the downside from 15 bucks all the way down to just about a dollar now let's measure this move down percentage wise from this high to about this lower region here as you can see we had about a 90 91 percent move on the downside in this bear market now here's the thing i guarantee and also promise you that those people that are at the moment saying qnt is a bad token they were probably the same people that were having negative comments all the way down here however what happened after this bear market was over from a dollar we had you're not gonna believe it about a 400x move on the upside and we reached to somewhere around 400 to maybe even 450 dollars so if you are going to act the same and say 
maybe in this bear market we are never ever going to get a move up just because we are having a very deep move on the downside then chances are you are going to actually miss out a great great bull run now let's go and see what is going on in this move down right in here let's measure it percentage wise in the previous bear market as you saw earlier we had about a 90 percent move down what about this bear market as you can see we are also having about a 90 percent move on the outside so i just do not understand why some people are thinking just because we are having a very strong move down we will never ever going to go up because according to this this move down is pretty much similar to this bear market right in here and what happened after it we had about a 450x move up and to be fair i don't believe that this time we're gonna go up 400x no but i'm thinking a 10 to 20x move on the upside in qnt is very very reasonable and there is nothing to be worried about if you have some very important and specific reasons in terms of fundamentals and also technical analysis to believe that we will never go up okay feel free to mention them in the comment section and i will definitely check them out but if you just want to argue that because we are having a move down this means we're not going to go up anymore i just do not agree with that and history definitely shows something else here is another reason to be bullish i told you at the beginning of the video at least in my opinion whether we are going to get a big move up in the mid to long term in a coin that depends heavily on first fundamental reasons and in this phase quant was actually performing well in terms of fundamentals the question is has something actually changed in this phase on the downside well i would like to suggest to just do your own investigation and come up with your own conclusion but i have done mine and in this move on the downside qnt has actually improved itself in terms of fundamentals and i fully believe that quants over layer technology is going to play a very very important role in the future of blockchain so you see even in terms of fundamentals we are in a much much better place relative to the 2018 bear market so let's just have a quick conclusion in terms of technical analysis we're looking great in terms of fundamentals we are also looking great and i just do not see any reason to be bearish in quant in the mid to long term if you know something that we don't please please tell us in the comment section so we can have a better understanding of what is going on in here and why we may never ever go up because from where i stand everything in qnt looks great and here's the thing if we are going to get some more moves on the downside in order to take this low for the many reasons that we talked about in this video i am definitely going to treat this move down as a very very strong buy opportunity in hope that we get another great great bounce back in order to at least at least take this side for the first target around 450 dollars and i think we may not stop here no i'm thinking maybe somewhere around 800 to about a thousand dollars can be a better target for quant which means from here we can have like a 20x move on the upside i think that's very very reasonable so let's have our final conclusion and wrap up today's video in quant in the mid to long term i don't believe that just because we are having this move down it means that we will never ever have another bull run this is a 90 percent move down and back down here in 2018 we had pretty much the same move on the outside meaning another 90 percent move down and what happened in this bull run we had about a 450x move up so just because the price is down doesn't mean that we're not gonna have another bull run this move down we talked about before is not specific for quant a lot of altcoins at the moment do not look necessarily optimistic but in the mid to long term everything in my opinion is in the right place and after this phase is over i fully believe that we're gonna have another very very solid alt season and quant might actually be one of those great coins that are going to participate in it so i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in qnt's price chart in the mid to long term anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some decent TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets and you want to have access to Bitcoin analysis videos, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And until the next video, I hope you have a wonderful time with your family and loved ones. Goodbye.